Hey guys, Shivan here from Mosin Technology. So Xiaomi had a great 2016 on the back of the Redmi Note 3. Over 3.6 million units of the phone were sold, allowing Xiaomi to cross 1 billion in revenue from the country for the first time. Xiaomi is selling three variants of the Redmi Note 4 in India. The base model has 2 gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of storage. Then there is a variant with 3 gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes storage, which is for 10999, which is the variant which I've been using. And the most interesting model is the one with 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage, which is available for just 12999. So first, let me clear off with the specs, and then I'm going to be talking about my experience on the device. So the operating system is the MIUI 8, as you all might be knowing. It's a Xiaomi device. It's running on Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow. We are hoping for Android Nougat soon. So we have a 5.5 inch 1080p panel with 2.5D curved glass and 401 PPI pixel density. The SoC, it has an octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 625 with Cortex A53 cores at 2.0 GHz. In the GPU department, it has Adreno 506 with Vulkan API. Surprisingly, you have a micro SD card slot as well, which is expandable up to 128 GB. In the camera department, it has 13 megapixel back camera with f2.0 lens and it's capable of recording 1080p video recording in the stock MIUI camera application, but you can record in 4 Okay, as well, I'll drop a link in the description. Make sure you watch that video to know how you can record in 4K. The battery is something which Xiaomi is good at. It has 4100 mAh battery which comes with fast charging. You have three colors available, the gold, dark grey and the matte black. So let's start. So let me start with the design and the screen. So the Redmi Note 4 is roughly the same size as its predecessor, but the design has been significantly altered. The phone now sports an all metal body, which Xiaomi is stating that it takes over 30 steps to turn up the aluminium block into a finished piece. The phone is slightly heavier than the Redmi Note 3, but the added heft makes a huge difference in day-to-day -day usage. The Redmi Note 3 featured an, an ugly plastic at the top and on the bottom but the Redmi Note 4 is entirely made up of aluminium and instead has antenna lines at the back. The front is dominated by a 5.5 inch display and the addition to a 2.5D curved glass. When using the screen, the hardware navigation buttons are backlit, allowing the easy access at night. The display itself is brighter and has better color accuracy than the Redmi Note 3 and is easily one of the best panels in this segment. Let's talk about the hardware now. Xiaomi is excellent at offering great hardware in its budget phones. And that hasn't changed with the Redmi Note 4. The Chinese variant of the Redmi Note 4 is powered by MediaTek Helio X20 SoC. But, at, but as Xiaomi isn't allowed to launch phones by, powered by MediaTek processors in India, the local variant is powered by Snapdragon 625. Although the naming convention may lead one to believe that it is a downgrade from the Snapdragon 650 used in the Redmi Note 3, that isn't the case. Even though the base model of the handset comes with 2GB of RAM, it is great to see Xiaomi moving away from 16GB of internal memory and instead offering 32GB as the base storage. The phone comes with usual range of connectivity options including dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.1, LTE with VoLTE, and an IR blaster that lets you control a variety of appliances. There is no NFC on the phone. The fingerprint sensor at the back is slightly recessed. Its position beneath the camera module makes it easy to access, and the sensor itself is quick to authenticate. It's not the most accurate sensor out there, but it's good for the price tag which it is selling at. The speaker on the Redmi Note 4 is significantly better than its predecessor and I would like to say it's better than the Mi 5 as well and that's mainly due to its placement. Moving the speaker from the bottom means that it is no longer muffled. When lying flat on a surface, the quality from the speaker is average with sound getting distorted at high volumes. But at least you won't miss any incoming calls or notifications. Let's talk about the software. MIUI is Xiaomi's biggest release in a long time, introducing much needed visual flair along with the new customization options. Setting up the Redmi Note 4 is a hassle as MIUI still doesn't offer a way to restore apps and settings, so you'll have to individually install apps from the Play Store after booting into the phone. Another issue is with the phone setting, which is just 
jumbled mess. That said, MIUI has a ton of new features and customizability. Now let's talk about the camera. Well, I'm a lot impressed with the camera. For the price point which the Redmi Note 4 is selling at, you can't expect much from the camera. But if you have been following me on Instagram, then the story which I have been uploading has been completely shot from the Redmi Note 4's camera. Yes, it has been edited through Vasco VSCO. Here are some of the samples. In low light, the Redmi Note 4 struggles a lot. The videos are really bad. Now let's talk about the battery life. The 4100mAh battery on the Redmi Note 4 is slightly larger than its predecessor. The phone easily lasts a day on a full charge but if you are a heavy user and more often than not you'll get a day and a half worth of usage out of this phone. And because of the fast charging, this phone is amazing. Now let's wrap up. Should you buy this smartphone? Absolutely yes. If you are looking for a budget handset, then the Redmi Note 4 should be high on your list. For just 9999 to 12999 for, uh, for 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage, you get a phone with a great design, an internal hardware, decent camera, and amazing battery life. There is no doubt that the Xiaomi will sell millions of Redmi Note 4 units in India. For now, the phone is up for sale on Flipkart, and I'll drop links to buy that in the description down below. So it has been it. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.